Welcome back. Well, just a few weeks ago, we got to check mm -hmm. out the Van Gogh exhibit at the Rhode Island Convention Center. Well, now it is Michelangelo's turn to check out the latest display that brings classic Italian art to Providence. Oh, there it is. Right there. It's as close as many will get to looking up at the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel and seeing Michelangelo's most famous works. I'm originally from Rhode Island. I grew up in Cranston. Uh, but then in 1996, I actually moved to Florence, Italy, uh, where I lived for 21 years teaching art history to American University students who would come over on their study abroad experiences. Uh, and then about seven years ago or so, my uh, wife, kids, and I moved back to Rhode Island, where we live happily now in East Greenwich. Michelangelo, a different view, allows for unprecedented closeness. The exhibit that's going on here right now, Michelangelo, a different view, is really an extraordinary opportunity for people to see the world's most famous frescoes up close and personal. Uh, I have been to the Sistine Chapel numerous times. I admire it. I think it's absolutely extraordinary. But ultimately, those paintings are 70 feet above the head of the spectator down below. And if you're not using a computer, if you're not using a book or what have you, to look at close-ups, which I imagine most people don't, the best way to get a real close-up view of the Sistine Chapel frescoes is, in fact, to come here to this particular exhibition. Michelangelo was nothing less than a revolution. Uh, in the history of art. He came along at the beginning of the 1500s and very literally turned the art world on its head. Uh, he was really the first artist to introduce a sort of subjective approach to reality, where instead of just trying to imitate what he saw in the real world, he would actually tweak it and change it into his own vision of beauty, which most of the time focused on the male nude. For Michelangelo, it was the most perfect form that existed. And when you look at his art, you could see he wasted very little time on anything else. And so what he did here at the Sistine Chapel was to literally blow up this notion of the ideal male nude on the figures in the ceiling, but also introduce this revolutionary use of color. Walking into the Sistine Chapel by yourself is very literally incredible. You, you have a difficult time believing that you're in the Sistine Chapel on your own. And I think, to be perfectly honest, that you really don't come to grips with it until days after the experience that you were that fortunate. When you see the Sistine Chapel in person, it, it, the other issue, of course, is that it's quite large. So you really don't know where your eyes should go. There's so much going on. It's like listening to a symphony. Many mu musical instruments playing at the same time. And inevitably, you can't isolate one of those instruments from the other. But when you come to this particular exhibit, what you get is, in fact, the ceiling that's kind of unpacked. They've broken it up, and so you get the nine main scenes in the center of the room, and then the various other parts separated as well, so that what you're getting is this opportunity to look at individual scenes almost under a microscope. They hope this changes the way you look at his works. A new appreciation for Michelangelo, a sort of, oh, I didn't get that when I was in the Sistine Chapel experience, and I think ultimately that's what will happen. In fact, as we, you and I were standing here a moment ago, I was looking at one of the pictures, and I thought to myself, I'd never noticed that before. And I've been to the Sistine ceiling regularly for the last 25 years, and today I noticed a new detail, which I would not have discovered had I not been at this particular show. It's a great exhibit that if you, obviously, if you haven't had a chance to go to the Sistine Chapel, you can see, and you can get up close and actually see the paintings up close and see every, all the details in it as well. Well, it's, it's unbelievable sure. artwork when you get right down to it, and what he's saying there is so true. You can go there, experience it, and really immerse yourself right. in the culture. And when you're in the Sistine Chapel, you're not supposed to take pictures, but here, you can. 